Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mehir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate forward rate under the chapter foreign exchange market under the subject international finance. Again, a very important topic for all the TYBMS Sensex student. Okay, you usually get this one sum always in the exam, how to calculate the forward rate. So let us see how to solve. We're going to take a one sum which will cover up a majority part of this topic. So chalo, let us see how to solve the forward rate problem sums. Okay, now let us see how to solve the sum based on forward exchange. Okay, now they have given you a question as based on the following data, calculate 1, 2 and 3 months forward USD to INR and USD to CHF that is nothing but Swiss franc. Uh, they are giving you the maturity period under that they have given you the spot rate of USD to INR and USD to CHF One month forward rates are given in point form uh, two months forward three months forward That's the a part and secondly they're telling you also calculate three month forward for CHF to INR okay? So now we're going to solve this sum in two part, part a and part b part a where we are going to solve One two and three months forward for USD to INR and USD to CHF and then secondly we'll see what's the second part in order to find the forward rates, you only have to remember these two rules. Number one, if bid is less than the ask, then the premium gets added to the spot rate. And if the bid is more than the ask, then discount will get subtracted from the spot rate. Okay, those are the only two points which you remember you need to know. And lastly, they said after decimal, there will always be four points. Okay, when you are going to write in decimal, it will always be more than four, uh, it will always be four pointers. Okay, so now let us see how to solve the A part. The very first thing what you are going to do here is A. We are going to calculate the forward rate of one, two, and three months. Okay, so first, what we are going to do, we are going to solve for USD to INR. Okay, so I'm writing here now number one, like this is like the first part. Okay. So we are first taking spot USD to INR. The spot rate is 54.0625. Okay, dash and now this is 675. So it will be 54.0675. Okay, that's the spot rate. Now in order to get the first, uh, you know, the first one month forward rate check the bid and ask this is the bid this is the ask the bid is 850 ask is 900 bid is less than 900 bid is less than ask rate so it is a premium premium will get added to the spot rate so I'll write it here now add premium this is a premium of one month okay so you add premium of one month uh, it is 850 always remember there has to be four decimals so this will be basically uh, 0 0.0850 and this is 900 so it will be supposed to be 0 0.0900 okay so my one month forward my one month forward rate will be 54.1475 and I add it and 54.1575 okay now this this is like the the first part second again we'll note down spot USD to INR the spot rate is 54.0625 and 54.0675 now for the two months let us go ahead with the two months two months bid is again less than the ask if bid is less than the ask we need to add the premium so add premium now this is the second month okay two month period so it is 0 0.1875 and here it will get added with 0 0.1975 Okay, if we add it, we will get this uh, as a two months forward rate. <clears throat> okay, so let us add it. So after adding, we should get the value as 54.2500 and 
54.2650 okay and now the third one again we note down the spot usd to inr it was 54.0625 and here we'll have 54.0675 okay in third again bid is smaller than us if bid is smaller we add premium so add premium it will be 0 0.3025 and here it will be 0 0.3225 so once you add up this will be a 3 month forward rate so our 3 month forward rate will be 54.3650 and 54.3900 so with this we were able to solve three month forward rate for uh, you know for USD to INR. So I'll just I'll just separate it so it become easy to you know recognize them. So this is one month. This was two months, and now we completed three months. Okay. So that was USD to INR. Now the same will be conducted for the second part. Okay. That will be USD to CHF, which we have asked us to find. Okay, so same thing now. Let, let's say this is the second, you know, the second part what we are going to do right now. Okay, the major second part. Uh, so I'll write this as Roman number one. This was the first part, second, and then now Roman number two, where we are finding for USD to CHF. Okay, same thing. We'll start number one USD to CHF. Okay, the bid rate was 0 0.9695 and the ask rate was. 70 okay it is 705 so i will take this as 0 0.9705 okay so just to distinguish so this is the first part this is the second part now remember now check the bid rate bid is 10 and ask is 5 so bid is more than 5 okay so if the bid is more than ask rate it is a discount so i'll write this as less discount okay it is a discount so we'll have to less it uh, the value is 10 so it will be 0 0.0010 and 5 will be 0 0.0005 okay so this will be my one month forward rate so when i subtract it i will get this as 0 0.0685 and 0. 9700 same way now second again usd to chf the spot rate okay the spot rate is 0 0.9695 and here it will be 0 0.9705 now two months so we'll go with two months now now again check for the two months part uh bid is 22 ask is 12 bid is more so it is a discount so i'll write here less discount under less discount it is 22 so i'll take this as 0 0.0022 and the other side it is 12 so 0 0.0012 we will subtract it since it's a discount and we will get a two months forward so 0 0.9695 minus 0 0.22 will give you 0 0.9673 and 0 0.9693 okay now similarly the third one the spot rate of usd to chf okay it is again 0 0.9695 0 0.9705 okay now very 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 simple okay now again it is 37 22 bid is more if it is more it is a discount so we write less discount of 37 points of 0 0.0037 and 22 points are 0 0.0022 we will subtract it we will get this as a third or three months forward rate so our three months forward rate after minusing the uh, three months ka discount will be 0 0.9658 and 0 0.9683 okay so this is how we had to solve the basic sum or you know whenever they tell you to find the forward out rate uh, you know outward rate or something so this is how you need to find the forward rate 
so whenever your bid is more then you ask it will always be discount and whenever your bid is less than your uh, ask rate it will always be premium premium we add discount we will subtract okay so first we we solved the first part of forward rate of all the three then we did the second part now the third that is the b part of the question okay now this is very important b part mein they told us to find three months forward of chf to inr now if you look here it's given usd to inr and usd to chf so they haven't given you directly chf to inr so here we'll have to you know find the cross currency rate first okay so in order to do that in order to do that what we'll do here is first we will find the three months forward rate of usd to inr and usd to chf usually we have already found this but since i'm going to show you uh, the whole sum together what we do here is okay this is the b part okay this is the b part now under this what we will do here is first we will find 3 months forward since they have given us to find 3 months forward of these we will find 3 months forward of usd to inr and usd to chf okay so see how we go ahead i will write here spot usd to inr it was 54.0625 and 54.0675 for usd to ina 3 months mein bid was less than ask so it's a premium i added the premium okay premium of 0.3025 and a premium of 0.3225 when we solved it added up i got the 3 months forward of 54.3650 and 54.3900 okay this is what you have already solved but in since it is a separate i'm showing you the whole step here okay first we found the spot of usd to inr same way we will find for usd to chf okay the spot is already given as 0.9695 and 0.9705 since bid is more it was a discount to so less discount it is 0.0037 min okay and here it will be 0.0022 this is not a minus sign okay this is just the break in between so that will give you a 3 months forward for the second currency which is 0.9658 and 0.9683 okay so we were we were able to find 3 months forward rate of usd to inr and usd to chf now what they are asking us to find they are asking us to find the 3 months forward rate for you know chf to inr now chf to inr is not mentioned here so we need to find cross current you know cross rate basically so what we will do here is now we are finding the cross rate now in order to find the cross rate remember what they have asked us to find they asked us to find chf to inr so put chf in one one corner inr on the other corner okay a dash now what is the common currency under both usd the common currency is already a usd and here also it will be usd okay now we need to find the bid rate and the ask rate okay so in between i'll admit so we are finding first the bid rate so remember chf to usd now uh, if to get a better idea of how to calculate cross rate remember we have already made a a video prior to this which shows you how to find the cross rate okay so those who have difficulty in getting to find how to find the cross rate see that you all view that particular video okay now how to solve this chf to usd check in your in your equa in your equation is directly chf to usd given see if you look at your spot rate okay look at the spot rate is given usd to inr and here is given usd to chf chf to usd is not given so it is a reverse order if it is a reverse always remember you have to find the inverse so bid ke liye it will become 1 upon ask into usd to inr is directly given so here i will take directly the bid rate 
okay so one upon ask will be one upon the ask of usd to chf was 0 0.9705 and bid was directly because it's in the same direction so it was 54.0625 okay we multiply we divide the value that we should get is okay wait now we need since 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 since, since we need now we are finding cross rate we are finding for three months okay we are finding the three month cross rate so i'll change the value here okay since it is a three months cross rate i will take the three months cross cost value so this would be 0 0.96 okay so just make that change okay remember whenever you're finding the cross rate take the three months forward because we need to find the three month forward cross rate of chf to inr okay so rather than taking the original rate, take the three months forward which you have already found okay so chf to usd since it was not given we have to take reverse method bid kill we need to write one upon ask Okay, and for USD to INR, we have to directly take the three months forward. That is the bid rate. So we have taken the bid rate. Okay, now one into fifty four point three six five zero upon zero point nine six eight three. The value that you all should have got was fifty six point one four four eight. That's the bid rate. Now we need to find the ask rate. So ask rate clearly again. CHF to USD is not given. Is given USD to CHF. So we'll have to take the reverse. So in order to find the ask, I'll have to use the formula one upon bid into. Now for USD to INR, uh, the ask rate is directly given. It's in the same direction. So I'll take this as ask rate. So one upon bid, one upon bid rate is for USD to uh, CHF. Okay, or you can say CHF bid rate was zero point nine six five eight. And the ask rate is 54.3900. Again, when you multiply, you divide, you should get the final answer as 56.3160. Okay. So once you have get that, we can write the final answer. Therefore, three months forward, CHF to INR is... The bid rate was 56.1448 dash 56.3160. Okay, so this is how you'll have to solve the sum when they've asked you to find the forward rates of a multiple number of months. Okay, and if they have asked you to find cross currency forward rates, and this is how you need to do. You need to first find the forward rate. Okay, after that, get the cross rate and that will be your final answer. Okay, I hope everyone have understood this. This was the very first type of uh, the very first sum that we have done based on forward rate. Okay.